Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode 68 of the Artifact Sect. I'm Icon, and today we're going to work hard on Junju's further breakfast. We're going to see whether or not Miyushi will be capable of grabbing new essences here, especially looking for uh, lunar essences. And I don't know, if I remember correctly, I had a nice experiment of extremely rare essences here and we didn't record that at the ending of the last episode so invisible flesh increases secret body stats so it's absolutely not interesting so ethereal essence yeah so increases defense and attack accuracies okay there's one ancestral throwback and invisible flesh. Invisible uh, the invisible flesh upgrade seems to be the unique part of the ethereal essence there. What a waste. <laughs> but I actually already imagined that this might be happening. So nimbus essence. Mm, let's put that at least on one of the bone or one of the body parts where there's still room for something, okay? So let's go Nimbus Essence. Oh, I'd need 19 of those six directions. Is that... Which weakens its trait, but offers high efficiency. I don't want that. So, well, I don't have enough Nimbus Essence to really try that out. So we'll have to... Let's try out the Skull. Why not? Because this is a lot about experimenting and not so much about uh, being efficient. I, I really just want to know what this stuff is uh, able to do for us. Yeah. Okay. So do I still have that uh, breakthrough success talisman? Or, wait a sec. Did I craft that the last time or not? Doesn't seem like I did. Oh, here, truth comprehension. I did. So let's send Junju to equip that thing, because we gonna be we gonna be busy for quite a while longer here with that business. So let's see. Oh, we got not busy here. It's night time, and night time is the most important breathing time for Yushi. It's quite simple. Okay, so we got a lot of gates to break through. But I'm pretty sure it'll be, to, in total, it'll be worth it. Because, seriously, we're gonna be able to transcribe extremely powerful laws there. And that one particular here divine awareness like adds so much extra artifact power and even and even a um now i've lost track <laughs> and even a sub spirit in it that's what i wanted to say so yeah i i must have uh, forgotten to uncheck the repeated cultivation thingy Okay, Steel Bone, Baleful Bone, well, Psychic Bone times seven, jeez. You guys know that you can only have four of these. So, times 15, times 10, yeah, looks like... Seriously? Well, Nimbus Essence. Wasn't that interesting on the bone at all? But whatever, we're going to do a Lunar Essence remold now with the Skull there. Just trying to fill the slots that are right now on low level. With as many Global Dodge upgrades as possible. I'm really, really uh, interested in... Okay. Seeing where we're, where we're able to get one day. So, well, let's take that Ancestral throwback back if I get it for free. No, what I wanted to say was uh, I'm really curious to see whether or not we're able to kill that dragon. That's uh, that's what I had in mind. 
There we go, Icebound Bone. That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah. Three charges in one go? That's always a good thing. So, here we are. 1.5 person closer to our big, big goal. So, the brain will be the next candidate. But, we'll be needing a lot more Lunar Essence for that. But How far is he already with this uh, Global Dodge now? 80.5. Oh, well. The journey is slowly finding an end. If I'd already known that you were able to... That you're able to put those uh, lunar essences on, on low level body parts, I might be already done with that uh, global dodge grind. But well, whatever. It's about learning here. So I'm not that grumpy about the fact that we were learning. So overall, well, since I'm not remolding anything right now, you she can just keep breathing all day. Why not? Yay! A visitor. So, Shao Chaner. Okay. No, 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 no. That's uh, for our for our visitor. Not for you, Zhang Zhang. That's the guest par apartment. You silly. Okay. Well. I'm pretty sure that it'll take now just a while until we're done with that. So, Prism Lotus, yes. Just like I thought, I don't own any of these right now. Crap. Uh, uh, so, what we're going to do... So, the, the simplest thing that you can do is look for an area where, where that stuff is naturally growing. Pearlwood Celestial Pool that had this Poison Dragon Lake. No. The I, I know that there's a uh, a place somewhere out there where that stuff is growing at. But don't ask me where. Ah here, five dragons pond. Lucky me. So we're going to send Jun Jong over there. She's going to do that. Former him. Oh, the merchant. Hello there. Let's trade. Hell yeah. Just hope that he's going to be buying artifacts today. Otherwise, we're in a pickle. Recently, gear items are worthless. Oh, come on, dude. Why are you doing this to me? Good thing that I transformed a lot of that gear into artifacts already, but that means we can't sell most of the items we got here. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, whatever. We're going to sell 12,679 uh, units of patterned fabric, obviously. Jeez. And let's see. I'm going to be buying some stuff from the Stutes. Only... It's the only thing I'm uh, sure about. Don't ask me what we're going to buy, but obviously a ton. I mean, let's see. All these artifacts are actually worth a lot. Jeez. Okay, so uh, I gotta say, Mr. Dong does create a lot of wealth for the sect. Let's just hope that there's going to be something that we actually want to buy with all that uh, stuff, you know. So I'll stop at the purple ones, because, you know. So Divine Jade, why not? I mean, I really have to put up as much stuff as possible, because, you know. So we got 13,500. Okay, let's do 12,500. Here we go. So we're gaining all these items and even more than that. Jeez. Well, keep crafting, my dude. Keep crafting. 
Okay, we will now check out if I have already looted that thing at Five Dragons Pawn or not. Big question. Because if we already looted it, I have to dismantle one of my Chi Gathering Arrays, and that's something I'd like to avoid. But looks like... Uh, looks like we're safe here. So, how much artifact power is in Zhenzhong, actually? 2,000? Okay. At least it ain't that super horrible. I'm quite surprised about the low movement speed of Zhong, though. Usually my cultivators these days are just soaring, you know. They're not moving or uh, walking anymore. It's just zooming over the lands. Ah, good stuff. So we just have to take down one beer beer. But that ain't much of an issue there. Slabity slab. Okay. That was easy. Okay. So while I'm here, I might as well check out what's uh, here. Except for the obvious things that are already carried away. I mean, I highly doubt that there will be a second Prism Lotus. Like, most of the time, there's only one spur group, but who knows? You know. So... Should really start considering to learn how to grow those spur roots. It's one thing that I haven't learned yet. So here, examine. It's looking off. Well, I don't know if you have to eat those uh, hallucinogenic uh, mushrooms before you can interact with these plants. There's a lot of stuff in ACS which I just don't have any clue how to interact with things or how to do it properly. That's just, uh, you know, still a lot of things to learn for me. All right, so Zhenzhong will be back home soon. And once that's the case, let's see, uh, cultivation speed bonus, move speed. That's not that important here. Okay, break for Prism Lotus. It's just, uh, I just hope that we're going to be capable of doing this in the first uh, attempt because I'd be hating to use more than one of these things there. So, Junju, please. Okay. Good stuff. So, uh... I don't have to grade more than, than one of these. Okay. Well... Lunar essences are a painfully slowly gathered material. Let's see. We've had two so far. Three. Also. Common items at the Mortal Relic auction. Well, okay. I'll be sent in Zhong over there. I, I highly doubt that there's something that I really want to have, but you never know. You never know. Okay. So, cultivation at this point will be a bit more costly, of course. Oh boy. Three enemies. 5k, 1.1k, 335, okay. So, part joke, part real enemies. Eh. The hotkey for attacking stuff is just uh, horribly hard to reach in this game. Just like most hotkeys. <laughs> I don't know why it's working out like that, but I only know that it does. Okay, so we got that dude, we got that dude, and... Well, whatever. So, I'm going to send C2 June, because it's... Uh, well, okay, never mind. It's no longer nighttime. I didn't want to interrupt Miyushi from breathing during 
during nighttime because you know we got important things to do during nighttime. Bam! Like 320k max chi on that dude. That's actually a lot. Our enemies are turning into real to real problems here. So oh yeah, we we got that. We got that beautiful selection bug one more time. I don't know. I feel as if it got worse since the last time that since the last couple of times like more, no it, it seems even like it's uh, worse the the longer the uh, save file exists basically it's... let's see so the giant turtle's shells looking interesting the rest of the items is not really that interesting for me all smaller items but these uh, demon uh, demon parts are quite interesting at uh, most points so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, buy that uh, shell and I'm going to reload the game because we're we're stuck in a book you know and there we are back on track with a new item and I also got myself one of those life pills because I figured that at the end of the day, extra life years are always worth it. Because I, I discovered that, you know, when you're building up several cultivators several times, it's just that good. Period. Alright. So for, for now, there's really not much more to do than enchanting stuff and waiting for Junju's breakthroughs to happen. What do we have here? 1,000 adventures in total. Hell yeah. We were quite adventurous there. Yeah. So, 13 Lunar Essences now in my possession. I'm gonna wait a while to, until a couple more of them have allocated here. So, we need a wooden item, a fire item, and an earth item still. If I remember correctly, most of these weren't that hard. So, golden casket opened. Is it already that time of the year? Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that... Wait a sec. I haven't found that emerald thingy down there. Are you kidding me? I must have overlooked some books there. But I'm not too surprised. There are so many things in this game that are... It's just uh, overwhelming me. I mean, right now... I really would have needed that this dude would be... Uh, would be buying the gear from me. But... Well, whatever. The good thing about all this is... You don't need to do all of the things that the game has in store for you. It's always fine to just do what you want to do and leave the rest of the things uh, just like just like they are and ignore them. Look at that. There's a soul pearl lying around. Christ. Why? Why do we have a soul pearl just lying around like that? Crazy. Well, whatever. What ifs? A Yao Guy. Well, rest in peace. I don't care about Yao Guy in this run. So. So, um, the comment section told me that there is a mod which allows me to chain up more than one crafting job, but I have no clue how that mod is called. So, if that person who made that comment hears this, Feel free to tell me how that mod's called, because I looked it up, I looked and looked and looked, but I didn't find it. I'd be appreciating some information about that. Because uh, if I'd be able to queue these jobs up, that would be just uh, amazing. Yay, more attackers! 
At this point, I end up being happy when people attack me. Because we can try out fighting power of my dudes here. And let's see, 1,100. 5,900 and 900, okay. Okay, what a weird attack there, but... Drizzle bow. Hmm. Okay. I don't quite understand what's happening in this fight, but that's okay. This Lian Liang person is cheating. Can't decide where where he's at. Alright. There we go. So let's hope that we're not going to be bugging our game one more time. I didn't. Yay! Neat. Not grabbing the other body here because I don't know where the hell I should get somebody that's able to fly into that niche there. So Lian Liang has the pleasure of not being turned into an Angus Soul Gem here. Okay, Junju. Oh, she did it. Awesome. Okay. It's quite a relief for me to see that we're burning through these uh, threshold points there. And Yushi? Yeah, that's going well. Like, acquisition rate of those lunar essences is bonkers. I like that. So, Kunlun Palace has a fasting ceremony. Speaking about Kunlun, I want to send somebody. Zhong. Didn't I own a Zhang Zhong adventure? Wait a sec. Where you at? Oh, Zhang Zhong's camping at the Black Beach thingy? Okay. Didn't I create a uh, all stats bonus uh, charm? Or Heavenland Talisman, Divine Residence. I got two Heavenland Talisman, okay. So I vaguely remember that I had one which boosted all the uh, all the stats. Let's see if somebody of Madudes is wearing it right now. Heaven sent, here we go. Yan Yun is wearing that right now. So, she's definitely not the person needing that this badly right now. Okay. And I want to get Ma Dude over to Kunlun Palace. And I really hope that we'll have a chance of acquiring the last law that's uh, missing there. Err... Add... Oh, come on! This is so freaking annoying! It, 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 sorry. It's really, uh, it's really... Pit annoying there that it's so hard to find single items, but it was just, uh, being transported. Okay. But those talismans, they are so hard to discern from one another. It's one thing that's really annoying me about these. Okay, so Kunlun competition. Let's see. Let's send Mr. Zhong over there. And 
see how it'll go. I mean, there is a chance that I'll be finally receiving the last law I'm looking for, but I'm not too optimistic here. The last couple of times it didn't work out either. Yay! Adequate treatment! Well, it ain't that good, but adequate treatment means we're not losing any relationships, and that's a good start. Junju, meanwhile, is grinding through these uh, breakthrough points. How's Nyanyun's health, actually? Well, she's at 54%. She's only needing 75 days more. Almost nothing. So, let's see. Alchemy Contest, Primordial Alchemy Law. Jeez. I mean, I could just uh, get that by spamming derivative calculations and uh, waiting for for a mandate event to spawn, but at this point, I'm a little bit burned out, I admit. Especially since it ain't that important. So, Kunlun Palace dudes, first we visit their uh, festival, and then they send attackers. I sense a scheme in that. So, wait, uh, okay. Why is that elder just soaring into my village now? It's uh, always really, really confusing to me. The movement of these dudes is uh, rarely making any sense uh, to me. That's mainly so problematic because one of these dudes can slaughter basically the entirety of my uh, outers alone. And therefore, I prefer them under control. I bet that one of these elder dudes, all he'd need would be one big swing over my dudes and then... That's that. And we got that bot one more time. I really, uh, I really find that quite annoying already. But let's see. Does, it does subside at some point or not? Yes, yes. Okay. So maybe I got lucky this time? Or it always subsides if you just wait long enough. Maybe I didn't wait long enough the last couple of times. Maybe it ain't a bug. Maybe I'm just stupid. <sighs> Oh, we got... We got a big invasion of demonic beasts. Hell yeah. I like that. So, let's see. I'll be sending Miyushi alone. Let's see. I hope I won't be regretting that. But I somehow doubt it. Just want to know how powerful my body cultivator is at this point, you know. Doesn't seem to be any problem for him to annihilate them, dudes. Okay, goodbye, monsters. And Yuchi didn't even suffer a scratch. So we definitely get in there. Take that, disaster of beasts. I don't care about that. Okay. Tons of soul pearls! Oh. There we go. More unnecessary items that I don't really need. It's one of the things I really think the game could perform better at. There's just so much stuff that doesn't seem to have a real... A real need, like... Okay, enlightenment pills, they're all nice and dandy, but uh, at the point right now, I don't need them anymore that badly. And until you hit the point to produce these pills... Well, you get the idea. So, Crimson Fruit. I do own one of these here, so lucky me. 
Okay, please succeed. Really hope that this is going well. Oh, good. Okay, we're uh, down to the last attempt. Wonderful. Or, well, the question remains, what do we need on the last level of the breakthrough, breakthrough chain? Because there is a certain chance that the last breakthrough of Junju will need something else too, you know, Reverie Gate. Maybe it'll need a Soul Pill. That would be a Soul Pearl. That would be actually super easy, but who knows. I'm still... I'm still expecting the worst, you know. But on the plus side, I did acquire a lot of uh, essence today, so that will bring the whole sect ahead. And, well, let's see. I mean... Oh, Wild South's beliefs are full. Okay. So I'd say we'll be sending uh, Shodong over there. And grab that belief, you know. It'll be it'll be a, uh, a a shame not to use that. Okay. Can't wait to get through the next uh, breakthrough point there because I'm so curious to see how it'll work to apply one of these more valuable skills on one item because I never did that before. It's like the first time that I ever, ever do that. So I'm extremely, extremely curious about that one. So there's one thing that I was wondering. So the solar essence is here, a blaze bone. Increases the physical cultivator's remolding rate. Increases the secret body power drastically. Okay. But have I actually tried to apply that stuff on a muscle? Or did I only go for bone upgrades so far? It doesn't seem like I did. What's my third attack technique here? Directional Concord measure. Oh, that's the crappy one there. So I really am ready to try out Yao Gai soon. Okay. Waist muscles, forearm muscles, they're also super high level. So we're going to start out with the solar essence remold here. But we do a singular one. And obviously I need to rearrange my breathing schedule. Okay. Charity! Yeah, yeah, take some spirits now. Shut up and take my money. All right. So we're going to end today's episode with the attempt of uh, remolding waste muscles there. Because, you know, I'm really, really curious to see if I can... use these uh, blazing of bone upgrades also on other body parts. I mean, all the effects of Lunar Essence were applicable to any other body part too. So I have high hopes that this this could be possible here too, you know. Who knows? Because that uh, a blaze bone upgrade is pretty nasty. It does not only increase the attack power, remolding rate. I can only assume that an increased remolding rate means that body cultivation does go faster. So oh, we uh, witnessed the birth of a sentient spirit due to its accompanying. <laughs> for a long time, so... Okay, we illuminated a, uh, a piece of clothing one of my dudes was wearing. Okay. I didn't even know that this was possible in this game, but... It's not the first time that I see something where I had no clue that this was possible. <laughs> okay, so waste muscles. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to finish that on this day, but that's okay. You're a stranger! I don't care! The sect doesn't care about people anymore. <laughs> Late game of ACS. You're totally, uh, totally crazing, crazing out. 
He too June created a random talisman. What did he create? Artifact crafting speed bonus. Hell yeah. Well, I bet Shodong has no more slots open. Crafting great bonus, success rate bonus, success rate bonus. Yeah, well. Speed bonus is quite appealing to me though. But what else? I'm not vibing for the effort of equipping that and re-equipping that and forgetting it then and the, you know what. You get my idea. Okay, so let's see whether or not I'm able to remold that into this one here too. So corrosive blood would be an option, but I don't want that. I wanna know. Sunray blood. Haha. -ha. Okay, so 41k now. It's actually a very, very uh, disappointing upgrade there. Secret body attack accuracy gets drastically increased. So, say, doesn't that do a different? So, on the bone. It increases the power. On the muscle, it only increases the accuracy. Okay. Tragic. So that means we'd be... Now we, own, we, we also need to do this. So here's a spleen. Here's solar essence. Let's do an 8 acupoint remold. That's going to be the last thing for this episode. I'm really curious what these uh, different essences do in different uh, types of organs, you know. It's just always a different thing there. The most interesting part. So. The accuracy upgrade wasn't interesting at all, for sure. So. Oh, there's an ancestral throwback thingy. True chi cap. Okay. What does the spleen do again? Healing rate by a tiny amount. Oh yeah, that's actually a good one. Dire potential, but that's... Slightly reduces the duration of the physical cultivator's weakened state. Whatever. Sounds like a good thing to have. But this ain't something unique to the solar essence, so we'll have to do this one more time. Okay. Oh, Shunju reached her limit. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, obviously. Episode going a little bit longer today. I'm sure I'm sure none of you will actually be against that. Okay. So with the next episode, I'd be, I should be able to remold a couple of extra body parts for the Lunars and well, my biggest issue there is I have no clue whether or not my, my offensive power is high enough to get the dragon down, you know, that's actually what I'm worried about most. So, dire potential is the, ah, here, solar breath. Ah, uh, okay. So, remolding rate and increases the ability improvement rate during the physical cultivator's furious berserk drastically. Okay, that's actually a really good one. That's probably one of the, one of the best ones, but that also means that every body part that already has lunar um, upgrade can't have a solar upgrade. Well, it does make a terrible amount of sense, sadly. Okay, so we have found out a lot of new things. I thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. So I hope next time you'll be around too when we're going to find out what's behind Junju's next breakthrough point. And of course, we're going to see whether or not I'm able to get the 95% dodge rating down. Anywho, drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing. There's daily content coming up from my side. You only need to hit that notification bell and you will stay informed. Whatever you do or don't, have a good one, and see you soon. Bye-bye.